All right, Chris, we thank you so much. Now to a story you'll only see here on Fox Carolina. An associate biology professor at Wofford College is taking his skills overseas in a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Yeah, Fox Carolina's Christy Wade is joining us now. And Christy, you're taking us on a journey under the sea for this one. <laughs> I know, I'm so jealous because while, you know, the rest of us are here, we have this professor and he's in Australia for the Great Barrier Reef. So you can imagine what it would be like to travel across the world and spend time in one of the seven wonders of the world. And that's exactly what Associate Professor Jeffrey Mitchell is doing right now. And this morning we're getting a look at how his research is helping with conservation efforts as well. It's called the National Sea Simulator. They can pump in seawater they can change the conditions of the seawater, they can make it hotter, they can make it colder. Really any kind of experiment you could want to do to mimic what's happening in the natural world. Call it a semester at sea. Associate Professor Jeffrey Mitchell is a far trip from the upstate, currently studying coral reefs, helping with conservation efforts down under. It's a really important problem to understand because corals are keystone to it and in like the entire ocean ecosystem. People just need to be a little more aware maybe of, of things that they're using like plastic. So there's a lot of plastic waste in the ocean right now. We eat uh, fish. We rely on fish that spend part of their life cycle on these coral reefs. We depend on coral reefs for, for tourism. We depend on coral reefs for protecting our shores. Dr. Mitchell tells me within the last five decades, tropical coral reefs have declined by more than 50%. What's happening with global warming um, and other uh, pollution and other kinds of, of threats is that these uh, corals, for reasons unknown to us, they're basically throwing away like their food source. So you go out on the reef and you notice that there are a lot of really unhealthy corals. You just know that's not the way that ecosystem is supposed to be. What's left is just like the skeleton. I have a little piece of coral here. Um, you know, maybe with a little bit of coral tissue left, they're really not um, healthy anymore. But here at the Australian Institute of Marine Science, Mitchell and other biologists simulate the ocean's changing conditions, hoping to breathe life back into damaged reefs. The group that I'm working with out here has sort of developed an algae strain that is, is resistant to this bleaching process. Their thinking is that, you know, maybe we can take these actually back into the wild and introduce them to the corals and allow the corals to withstand some more of the high temperatures and things that are problematic for them. He calls it an opportunity of a lifetime. What we'll do is grow small coral fragments and we can run all sorts of experiments to try to understand why they're bleaching. So I'm working uh, with a marine or reef restoration group. So their, their goal is really to try to restore some gray barrier reef that's already been, been damaged. An experience that is teaching him. We're getting to actually do things on a day-to-day -day basis that I think will really have a lasting impact on the reef. All while teaching his students back in Spartanburg to chase their passions. I'm hoping that it really shows them that like, you know, they can find something that they're passionate about or something that they're interested in and really pursue that all over the world. Well, this was made possible by Wofford College, who allows their professors to do a sabbatical. And while Dr. Jeff says he's soaking up every single minute of this experience, he's really excited to get back to the classroom and show his classmates what he's learned.